Folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some breakfast tacos that are great for the waistline, great for the bicep peak, and most importantly, it's gonna put you in prime position for attracting members of the opposite sex. Or same sex, if that's your thing. We don't discriminate around here. But in all seriousness, this is stupid simple to whip up. Anybody watching can do it, and the best part is it not only tastes amazing, but it's also an amazing way to get that protein in first thing in the morning while keeping calories low, and most importantly, enjoying what you're doing. The secret to long-term diet success is eating foods you enjoy, and with these tacos, I guarantee enjoyment is gonna be at the top of your list. And if you wanna have the ultimate cookbook in your pocket with every recipe from the channel so you're eating good, feeling good, and seeing results, don't forget you can find this at the first link in my description box. The RJF Anabolic Cookbook filled with all the secrets, tips, and tricks to make sure your diet is one that's actually successful and one you actually enjoy. Plus, you get it once every time I add a new recipe to the channel. It gets updated for free, so it really is. The gift that keeps on giving, hit that link down below to check it out. You won't regret it. All right, ladies and gents, if y'all ready to have some fun, then I am too. Let's go. With these ingredients here, we're gonna be eating good in no time. If you follow my steps, you'll be sword swallowing breakfast tacos in no time. Let's start with the eggs. The first thing we're gonna do, instead of using regular whole eggs, because that's where the calories start piling up, instead, we're gonna use egg beaters. These are essentially eggs that they've taken all the fat out and made them pure protein. But yet when you cook them, they have the same consistency as regular eggs. We drastically cut down on the calories this way, and we get a ton of protein. I'm gonna weigh out 138 grams, and then after that, to help, our eggs get extra creamy and fluffy, we're gonna add in 30 grams of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And these don't really need a lot of seasoning, so at this point, we're just gonna add in about a dash of kosher salt and a dash of black pepper. Then we'll just take a quick whisk and make sure everything's mixed up and blended accordingly. Boom. Now with the eggs done, we gotta get the other ingredients. What I got here is 42 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. Anybody that tells you you can't eat cheese on a diet is lying to you. This is essentially pure protein. It's a great way to cut down on calories and ensure when you're in a calorie deficit, your body's burning off fat instead of muscle. And in addition to that, we got 84 four grams of a turkey breakfast sausage. Lots of great flavor here, and we're drastically cutting down the calories we'd get from eating regular pork sausage or something like bacon. I'm telling y'all, you eat the right ingredients to make the right foods, losing weight isn't even difficult. It just naturally happens. And then minus hot sauce and salsa, the only real thing that we need to prepare is gonna be our yellow corn tortillas. I opt for the supersized version from Mission. Gives you a little more room, a little bit of a bigger taco. You can cram more protein in there, and they're only 70 calories a piece. You can use flour if you want, but I think for an authentic breakfast taco, corn tortilla is the way to go. Last time I tried to pull flour out in the morning when I was making breakfast tacos for my girlfriend, she kicked me in the groin, grabbed the keys to my car, my wallet, and left. I learned my lesson. I've only been using corn since. And when it comes to preparing these, we are gonna need a couple skillets. It's not very often I work on a recipe that requires two skillets at the same time, but luckily I'm very well trained in the art of the skillet. Some people say in order to protect the household, you should always have a firearm on the premises, but I wasn't raised that way. Like dad always said, teach a man the art of the skillet, he will take over the planet. Now, what we're gonna do is preheat one of our skillets to a medium high heat. About right there will do. Then we'll preheat the tortilla warmer to high heat. So with this preheated, a little bit of nonstick, I'm gonna go ahead and let each tortilla toast about 45 to 60 seconds each side. And check it out, after about a minute, we go ahead and pick her up. Ooh, it's a little crispy brown on this side. That's exactly how we want it. We'll just do the other side, repeat that step with all the wraps, and we'll be in business. All right, with the corn tortillas out of the way, what we're gonna do is take our fat-free cheddar cheese, the 42 grams, I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit in the middle of each one. That way it can sit right below our hot eggs and sausage and melt and be extra gooey, extra cheesy, most importantly, extra anabolic. And all right, this looks good to me. Now let's finish her up. Here's how this is gonna go down. We got our skillet preheated. We're gonna fry up the sausage first. Boom, nothing crazy here at all, just a quick little fry. And once we got this fried, we're gonna place it on a plate and set it off to the side for a couple seconds while we get the rest ready. Back on the stove, and now we're gonna give the eggs a quick scramble. Get in there, give them a quick working. And then once we got them to about right here, we'll just add the sausage in, give everything another quick little stir, and boom, that looks perfect. 
And then now all we're gonna do is take our egg and sausage filling and evenly place it right on top of the cheese on all of our tacos. Oh man, this kitchen smells like a food truck without all the health department violations. What we're gonna do now is take a simple red cayenne hot sauce. I'm just using Frank's Red Hot. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little dab on each one of our tacos. You can skip this step entirely if you don't like hot sauce, but personally I was raised if someone doesn't like hot sauce, you better call the authorities and report them for suspicious behavior because some may right, some may right. And then the last thing we will do is take some mild salsa. We're gonna need about 84 grams in total spread across all three tacos. And we're just gonna put a nice little serving right on top to seal the deal. And keep in mind, salsa and hot sauce especially contain almost a negligible amount of calories. So feel free to go as above and beyond with this or don't use it at all. Really comes down to personal preference. And check it out guys, we now have high protein, anabolic, bodybuilding, girlfriend won't kick you in the groin, steal your car, weight loss, high protein, low fat, gullet busting, Dunlap preventing, breakfast tacos. And the best part is we threw them together quickly and we're putting our best foot forward at breakfast. Now I do got my hands full a little bit guys, so if you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, helps out more than you know. Leave a comment, any comment will do. What do you think of Ezra Miller in The Flash? Let me know. And subscribe if you're not subscribed now. Let's eat some tacos. All right, folks, if I had to even tell you what I just went through to get the thumbnail for this video, you wouldn't even believe me, nor would you care. First world problems, right? So what I'm gonna do right now real quick because I'm contractually obligated, not really, but that sounded good, is I'm gonna show you what an anabar is, bud. You might already know, but hey, I'm gonna tell you till you hate me for it. This is the new Monster Cookie Crunch flavor covered in milk chocolate, loaded down with Reese's Pieces and pretzels inside, hands down, the best flavor we've ever dropped. And I don't say that lightly. Oh my gosh. Look at that bad boy. Coated in milk chocolate, thick, girthy. That type of girth that ruins relationships. We crack it down the middle, oh, it just falls right apart. And you can literally see the Reese's Pieces and pretzels on the inside. I'm telling y'all, they don't make protein bars like this no more and I put that on my mama. Let me put this away before I get too full. The new flavor is dropping September 15th at 3 p.m. Central, so set your reminders, but as always, all of our amazing flavors, whether that's Fruity Cereal Crunch, Cookies and Cream, S'mores, Very Berry Crunch, they're all available at theanabar.com. Use my code RJF10 at checkout, you'll save money, and if you spend over 75 bucks, it's free shipping, and I'm telling y'all, these are the best protein bars on the planet. I know if you try them, you're gonna be hooked like everybody else. So anyways, guys, enough uh, paying the bills around here, and let's get to the tacos. Check it out, baby, you already seen it. Sausage, egg, cheese, all the fixins guaranteed to be a hit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come on. Mm -hmm. mm. Sometimes I'm shocked that healthy food can taste this good. Mm. I know they're pushing to use drugs like MDMA and things like that to help heal people that have post-traumatic stress disorder. But I think honestly, we can shelve all that and just give them some of these breakfast tacos. Like dad always said, nothing helps you forget the pain of watching a fellow brother in arms lose his leg in a Claymore explosion better than a breakfast taco. Mm. In all seriousness, lots of flavor here. Amazing, like if you got this at a food truck, you ordered breakfast tacos, they gave you this, you'd be happy with it. And best part is, like I always say, we put our best foot forward, getting the right type of nutrition in, lots of protein, not a lot of fat, keeping the calories low, but simultaneously giving our body the fuel it needs to succeed. If you eat like this, even if you don't track calories, do none of that, by default, you'll be eating less calories and you'll see results regardless. But if you really get on it, download something like MyFitnessPal app, track and log and eat specifically these meals with these recipes from the cookbook, I'm telling you, you won't even believe how fast results come. Seriously. Hmm. Let me wipe my face. I always forget and then I edit the footage and I got something right here. No one says anything, so how am I supposed to know? Now in all three of these tacos, if you made them exactly how I did it, which you end up with for all three is only 448 calories with eight grams of fat, 47 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, and six grams of fiber. For me personally, I'm eating right now about 3,000 calories a day. So 448 calories with 47 grams of protein for me is a perfect way to start the day. Here we go, people. Final bite of the final taco. Let's get it. And of course, you gotta clean up all this stuff. Mm. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my stupid, simple, stupid, delicious, stupid anabolic breakfast taco recipe that I know if you try, you're gonna love. If you end up making this, tag me wherever your social, Facebook, Instagram, Tinder, not Tinder, Twitter, and let me know what you think. And as always, if you don't have my cookbook, you can pick it up at the first link in the description box. And if you already have it, this recipe is now in there along with every other recipe from the channel. If you wanna eat good, eat high protein, and see results all at the same time, then you wanna have this in your pocket. Hit that link down below to check it out. You won't regret it. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Don't forget, 
you can always check out the threads, the thread sponsor of the channel, Young LA at youngla.com. You do go to RJF, you'll save money, and I guarantee there's something on there you're gonna love. Man, woman, poodle, whatever you are, they got you covered. So make sure you check them out if you think anything I wear looks even remotely cool. And that's it, folks. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and until next time, ladies and gents, I will see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone. This September, it's coming.